Hey guys, this is the start of the Kent arc. Oh, with Basim, because we are trying to get Sigurd back, and he has a person. Ah, doubt that. I watch them, study them, learn from them at all times. Sure. This is our duty. The hidden one's calling. You know, for the first time since we've met, you sound more like you're a princess than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is someone special, important, and I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Oh, is his mate with the information on. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert, this is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, oh, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Yes, yeah, boy. Says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. Where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. I'll have to kill someone. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I will decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible Dead. loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which Thane has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him. <laughs> before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The king's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new elderman. Intercept him and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, oh, God. we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Alfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. True. This emissary. How will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll give the Elderman's name. You find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenston has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you at Falkenstein. Yes. <laughs> if Alfred's emissary spent a few days here, someone may know where he went. You trying to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking uh. for a man. He passed through here on the king's business. Oh, bugger off here, or I'll call the guards. I'm oh, sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. How about you help me from the goodness of your heart, and then I'll leave you alone? A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. 
There was a bard drinking at the emissary. Oh, you bastard. Kill him. That eel swamped scarp can't have gone far. Show me. Right on the bridge. <laughs> I got fucking troll. It's not really necessary. You there, you alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plot a deep plot. Another tottering cheat sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Hey. Oh, I know how to sober him up, one sec. Uh, ow! Why do you smite me? Hey, yo! <sighs> oh, God's truce! Fire on you! Oh. What are you fed or wakes me? I'm the one you sing of, Bard. Stern of eye and scanned of... Enough! You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the... T were we? I was so ale... How about something... All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer bibing will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, Weaver of the Ob. Oh. The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. Oh, I'm not gonna make you right all the way fucking there, so the scenes. Sorry, just scratch my ear. Come on, mate. Pussy, in it? I'm not who you think I am! Let me go! Stop caterwauling and you'll live. Uh, live? Oh, saints, protect me! Silence will save you, Tedmund. Silence, not your saints. <laughs> oh, my Flee, God. my friend. We have the man we came for. Does this venture not set your blood ablaze? You don't prefer working in the shadows? And so we have. To steal a man, 
take him with swiftness and escape without anyone on our heels. Hmm. We hide in place True. Now. Such is our way. But only until the moment of success, the final strike. I prefer to act and speak plain. Kings and lords who do not are often misunderstood. Yet as a leader, you Halt, Danes! In the name of Alfred, King of Wessex, I demand you release his royal subject <gasps> into my care. Come no closer, Christian, else your man dies by my blade. Please, I I'm not the man you want. Keep your eye on this one. He'll be worth a hefty bounty. Any false moves and I will snip your heels. <laughs> now let's finish this shadow play and be gone. Are you sure that's Tedmund? He's dressed as a lord, but that man is shorter and fatter than I recall. I'm not Tedmund. I, I, I'm not. I, I swear upon the holy rood. I, I am not Thane Tedmund. Oh, what fucking sweat. What is happening here? Who are you? Speak quickly, or I will slit your throat and leave you for the crows. Shergar. Uh, I'm called Shergar. Lord Tedman pays me a measly coin to serve as his double. Brother Shergar? You are far from Augustine's prayer. <sighs> uh, I left the cloisters many moons ago, Your Holiness. The monastic life was not my calling. We can use you yet, Shergar. Summon Tetman to a meeting. Get him out in the open. Tetman has no care for me or what I have to say. My orders come by letter, never by mouth. I hardly know the man. You have no use to us then. Perhaps I should just kill you here and now. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let, let, let me think. Let me think. Oh, Danes. T to storm the walls, you need Danes. Th there's a raiding camp west of here I was told to be wary of. I acting as Tetman, I ordered a band of soldiers to capture them. If you hurry, you may be able to stop this. If another band of Danes wants to join our assault, we'll have the distraction we need to get inside Rusas then. If the Saxons don't slaughter them first... I, I am still Tedmund, the men in the field. I could speak with their captain, send his men away. It's a fearless plan. The Nordnir knit winding paths that cannot be unknotted. It seems Rusester was always in our path. Abbot, stay alert. We'll and this fool? Ah. Oh. He'll come. You, you, you will not. I still might kill you. <coughs> oh, let's go it. The rewards for being Tedmund are rapidly diminishing. And how does what? one become a double? Are there vigorous challenges and tests to overcome? I was born with the misfortune of looking like. <laughs> oh, I was born with the misfortune of looking like someone yeah, mate. else. Go on, I run, boy. On run. God's chosen path. What took you from it? I'm the seventh son of a poor farmer, and not wanting another mouth to feed, my father gave me to the monks. The cloistered life did not suit you? I thought there would be great comfort in repetition, but instead I found nothing but prayer and back-breaking toil. The Norns weave strange destinies. Now your life depends on the story you weave for yourself. I don't think this I'm not a good dude's forger. a bit of a Still tears from lead in my hands sweat and I have a stutter when I'm nervous, but, but, but I will try. <laughs> ah... The cornerstone of all great art. The captain does not know Tedman well. If we keep our heads, he will not question my orders. I hope. We are too late. There is great horror here. Those who remain must be saved, whatever the cost. Let us approach the captain with caution. He drinks too much and does not need a reason to kill us. Yes, it is I, Thane Tedmund, coming to discuss the orders I gave to you not one day ago. This handbook will get us all killed. You murdered our people, men, women, children. Pipe down, you dogs. You slaves of Kent now. If this cunt gets us seen. Tedman, what are you doing here? How dare you address me in such a defiant manner? Do you not know who I am? You are Tedman, as I've said. And I mean no disrespect. Why is he... But I was told you were back in Rue, sister. Oh, yes. 
And, 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 and do I... Do, do I look like I'm in Rue Sister? You, uh... Do what, what, right, he, he sounds like he's got, like, a proper helmet on, like his face is muffled. But he ain't got a proper helmet on like that. Uh, a wise man is always unexpected. You travel in strange company, Lord. An Arab and a Dane. I'm here to advise your thane in the ways of my people. That, that is correct. <laughs> A cultural exchange of sorts. Perhaps one day I will visit your... Uh, D Dane... Daneland. Norway. You mistake me for a foreigner. But are we not all just the measure of the places we've seen? Right. Well, that aside, have you any further orders, Lord? Yes. Yes. I order, I order you to stop loitering and return to your barracks, you scabwit. And what of the captured Danes? You must kill them all! Every last... Sorry, no. Uh, leave them here, tied up, as a... As a feast for wolves and crows. That is all, you may depart. Shoot! A convincing ruse that has earned you your freedom. Go, and make your life anew, not in another man's boots. I will. Um, this small sup of power has got me thinking. Perhaps they, I no, be you can the leader of men. No. Yes, yes! Hurry along, men! Warm thighs and ale hmm. awaits! Come on, you laggards! You have Tedman's orders. Tied up like animals. I need to free them. Not now, you fucking rems. Too kind. Thank you so much. Good thing that dude's blind, apparently. We owe you our lives, friend. These Saxon whore sons would have killed us all. Yes, they would have. <sighs> and now is your chance to hit back. March with us on Rusester and drain it of riches. I will gladly, friend. But we few will not break those iron thick walls. And we have no allies in Wessex. None who could be called upon to attack their countrymen. Mercy, I will heed the call. Gidrich will provide our Viking a horde. We'll send yep. a message to Oxenfordshire. The men of Mercia would gladly take a swipe at Wessex. They would. What is your name, warrior? Runa Egelstotter. Runa Egelstotter. We have a small fleet moored up river, but a naval chain blocks passage to Rue Sister's walls. I will remove it, and your people will bring their ships. Now, gather these fallen weapons and armor. Gidrich and the men of Oxenifordshire will need them to hide their Mercian origins. My warriors were denied Valhalla today. I cannot bear the idea of gifting their weapons to more Saxons. Their sacrifice was great. Their gift... Bitch, shut up or we kill you. That's literally it. Yeah. It will calm their restless shades, I promise. Will your men bring the armor to the battle? And what is our plan? In the morning, you will go to Buckingham, remind Gidrich of his promise. When you have his bond, meet me on the shore near Rusesta. With the ships. It's time to Adam fuck shit up soon. Must be warned in advance. He'll need time to muster his rescue party. Runa, that is your task. I will tell you where to meet him before you leave. All seems in order. At first new light, I will leave. Good. Oh. That gives us time to drink. I don't want to drink this. Actually, yeah, I'll drink this gun. Well, um. You've traveled so far carry out your duty. Is this the life of a hidden one? Always on the move? No. Huh. Mine is not the usual path. The creed does travel. Our ideals are universal. We believe that. So there's nowhere you call home? No place I call home. No. Oh, <laughs> For me, home is family. But I have no family. No one? 
Cut your dick off. Not even hide them. Parents, brothers, all dead. I lost my parents when I was nine winters alone. Without Sigurd, I would have. I would have. There is always one unbreakable bond. Yes. Children. <laughs> they bewilder you. They can push you so much water. amazing. Fill you with joy. Even stop your heart. <sighs> and if you're lucky, they replace you. Imagine little wavers running around. I was not so lucky. I had a son. I miss him terribly. Even now. I am sorry, Asim. He was taken from me. Someone I trusted. A friend. A mentor. A man who I would trust with anything. Chow Wolf. Taken from me. A man you trust a with anything. A man I thought was a friend. You take everything. He took all I had. Says there will not be an easy nut to crack. Time to prepare. Part one of the uh, Kent arc. It's pretty good so far. I actually quite like it. I uh, like this uh, landscape. Uh, looks like a good arc, which I'm glad for. So, anyway, uh, see you guys in the next episode. Like, subscribe, and uh, bye.